one would imagine you're going to be facing a, a, a team desperate for points. That's a scary team. Um, and to play at the international level, if you're playing for the right reason, it starts with pride. So I, I'm not expecting Jamaica to come out here and give us three points, um, nor do we have that in our minds. We're going to go out there and do the right things, um, play our game and make sure that um, we still impose what we want to do on this game. Thank you. Derek Van Deest. Oh, hey, how's it going? Um, it's Derek here with Post Media. Um, I guess my doing? question is, is you guys, it was such an emotional game against Mexico and getting that, that tie against Mexico. I guess what's the key to kind of coming down off that emotional high and then kind of resetting for this Jamaica team? Because, you know, you need, the res you need another big result on the road here. Yeah, I'm not sure what your question is. You're asking us, but um, we've been really level-headed. And um, we, we, we know that no team is going to give us points, and nor do we have that chip on our shoulder. Um, what we do have is a group of guys who is always ready to put on the shirt and represent it well. Um, so hard work, you're going to always get that. Commitment, you're going to get that. And then we play good football. So when you have those three things um, with a tactical game plan, um, we're in the right direction of winning. Hi, John. Thanks for doing this as always. Um, Anything new regarding um, Kyle, Ativa, and, and, and Lucas's availability for tomorrow? Yeah, still not not in Jamaica with us. Um, a final decision will be made as we finish this game tomorrow on you know whether or not they've been able to travel into Toronto. There's a certain deadline that we've been working on with them, and we've got one more day to to make those finalizations. Um, yeah, that's, that's about all I can say at the moment, Peter. I mean, uh, I think there's, um, yeah, the, 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 the more the more that we've we've been assessing the situation, the you know the harder it's been, I think, for you know these guys to turn around. But we're we're going to keep the window open as long as we possibly can. All right, thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go with John Molinero next, please. Thanks, Richard. Hi, John. Thanks, as always, for taking the time to hey, speak. Hey, John. Hope you're well. Um, you know, Jamaica comes into this with only one point. So, I mean, on paper, um, you know, I think a lot of people are expecting, you know, Canada to do quite well. But you said last week that, you know, that their record doesn't necessarily sort of reflect how they've done this in this sort of qualifying, that they're a much stronger team. Can you maybe just expand on that? I mean, why, why are they going to be such a tough opponent, do you think? I think, I think, you just got to look at it qualitatively. You know, when you look at the players on paper, you know, you've got guys there with Premier League experience. You've got guys who've won Scottish Championship with Rangers. You've got you've got winners in that team. You've got players playing in the top league in Belgium. I mean, this is uh, on paper. You know, I, I would have said you know, when all the players are here, they're one of the top top three teams in Concacaf, and you know, value wise, they're right up there. I know my concern with, with Jamaica is that they're a wounded a wounded animal at the moment. At some point, this team are gonna are gonna take three points and they're gonna take uh, someone's head clean. <laughs> and I'm just hoping this isn't gonna be uh, Canada tomorrow in their own stadium. I mean, we've already been out there today. The uh, it's a tough pitch to play football on. The boys just experienced that, and you're in heat, so. You know, they, they've got their conditions that they want. They know that this is going to be um, a chance for redemption for them. And th there's no more dangerous uh, foe than a desperate, desperate man. So, you know, we we got to be right up there. They're, this is not an easy team and this isn't an easy path to, to three points where we're going to have to earn everything here. Thanks, John. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go with Derek and then uh, wrap up with Neil. Hey, John, good to see you. Hey, Terry. Um, I just want to ask you about this emotional roller coaster and, and uh, you know, obviously a, a huge emotional game against Mexico and you only have a couple days to kind of come down and then try and get back up to that emotional level. What's the key to, to doing that, I guess, for, for your squad? Yeah, it, it is. It's tricky. This is this is a really tricky uh I, th I think this window, we knew it was going to be tough. We knew coming in here, the turnarounds, the travel, and, and it just everything, everything sort of has collided with, with injuries and yellow cards. So coming into this game, we, we got some suspensions, but and we've got injuries as well. So it's, 
it, it just is. It's everything is happening in this window, and we thought about it, we planned it, so it, it's not unexpected. So for the guys, it's opportunity. We know that we've got depth here, and there's players getting opportunity that have been waiting for chances to play for Canada for a long time. So I think that's the exciting thing for me. Like as a coach, you've been telling players maybe for two, three years that you're not in the starting 11 and giving them rationale why and your chance will come for some of these guys. Their chance is coming. Thanks, John. Appreciate it. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. And just to wrap up with Neil. Thanks, Richard. Uh, hi, John. Another... Uh... Hey. Showing us another football stadium around the globe here. Uh, two questions, if I may. One, you've talked about uh, the depth of the Jamaicans. Uh, do you do you feel, do you have any sense of whether they're going to have all their weapons there tomorrow? And also, can you update us on uh, just personnel? Did uh, Hoylet Wotherspoon get there? Uh, anybody injured? And, and who's suspended? Refresh our memories. Yeah, so... You know, this, the, the Jamaican team has got, you know, good depth. Um, we've seen the squad that's that's came into this camp. Uh, their forward line is, is as good is as good as any in, in CONCACAF. I think even, you know, when they start moving to second and third, they're very uh, third level in their team. They're very competitive. So we, we, um, we know that we're going to be in for a real battle, a real battle um, defensively. And I think the next piece, when you talk about our squad, uh, <laughs> it's just a roller coaster. And, and I had this at the Gold Cup, so we've experienced it. You know, players were dropping like flies at the Gold Cup. We had suspensions, but I just believe we've got um, that that spirit, that chemistry. Um, you know, no matter who comes in, they're, they're just tuned to want to fight for the course. And, and I think that's one of the biggest things with teams. You know, sometimes it's not about talent it's in this game it'll be about the sum of the parts becoming greater than the whole and that's that's what we've been able to do as Canada I think in the last few months when we haven't been able to field you know some of our bigger names 